previously in War on the Sea Operation Watchtower. Following a recent spate of attacks to the port and airfield facilities at Renal Island, we have mustered together what surface vessels we can, including three heavy cruisers, a light cruiser and several destroyers, and have completed our first retaliation raid on Guadalcanal. Our seaborne bombardment has damaged the Japanese airbase, reducing its ability. We have therefore set our task force back to New Hebrides to rearm and refuel. We have seen recent success with grouping as many surface ships and aircraft into one attacking force, allowing us to concentrate our firepower. This has seen the destruction of the battleship Nagato, two heavy cruisers, three submarines and two destroyers. Command has been pleased with our success but is continuing to push for further sunk tonnage. To this end we will look to rebuild some of the damage at Rennell Island. Bring in the port up to a level 3 to allow ship rearmament and refuelling and the upgrading of the airbase to allow further attacking aircraft to persecute the enemy. With the chances of further reprisal raids from the Japanese forces on Rennell Island, we have positioned the submarines Blackfish and Drum to patrol off the port to intercept any new threats. The following action takes place between 6am on the 15th of September to 11am on the 24th of September 1942. Okay, coming up to 28 in the evening on the 15th of September, uh, Drum has made it back from Guadalcanal and she's um, teamed up with Blackfish and they're kind of patrolling off the Rennell Islands port just to kind of uh, give some defences there, uh, just in case we have any more strikes coming in from Guadalcanal. Meantime, Task Force uh, 24 are also pulling back. They're running relatively low on torpedoes as well, uh, so we'll bring them back into this area. And hopefully, by the time the ships, which are down here, we've got both Task Force 15, the, uh, the cruisers and the destroyers, plus the Task Force 15, which is the uh, couple of destroyers and the tankers and merchants, they're all making their way back to New Hebrides. Um, no re engineering or fuel available for the moment, but we're going to get those rearmed and refueled, and we'll bring the cruisers up here to defend Renal Islands, Islands at the moment. Over here, Santa Cruz, uh, level one port, level two airfields. Yeah, I was wondering if we had any spare um, engineering or fuel, which I could maybe hop over here to get this up to a level three port. And then we get the ships and stuff rearmed re and refueled here, which would be excellent, but not to be. Um, anyway, we've got the task force here um, patrolling around Milne Bay just to keep that one safe. And we've got Task Force 4 who's also doing a patrol off there to stop them going up towards Port Moresby. And at 28 minutes past 8, we have another task group heading towards Rennell Islands. Um, nine ships we've got two lonely subs patrolling and trying to hold the uh the, the key to um getting to the port let's see what we can do maybe we can turn them back it's all calm beneath the water but above it's absolutely miserable right scope up what can we see can we see anything ah yes all oh, the Shadows of at least three big ships there. Oh my god. There's a lot of big ships. And what are we looking? We're looking almost dead ahead, so. Oh hang on. Are we though? No, okay, that's that's your compass bearing, so they're north. So let's um start turning to north. We'll get drum to do the same. I thought that was um, our heading rather than the actual compass, but it's not. So, okay. So, they are north of us. I've lost them. There they are. Yeah, at least three big ships. Sorry, at least, at least four big ships, possibly five. Okay, there they are. And completing our turn now, um, I think we'll target this closest ship which I think is this one here let's slow down a bit get her identified okay popped over to drum to target the same ship 
um, and we've identified oh, not as that as um, the KO class. You can see two turrets forward, one turret rear. It's that one, and that looks good as well. So um, we're not getting much in the way of a solution built up here. Let's slow down a bit. They're not going to hear us in this weather anyway, but. Six torpedoes to get a small spread. Oh, we've got another similar ship coming by. Actually, this is this is the one we're looking at, isn't it? That's ship two. So this is the one we're targeting. So from Blackfish, you've only got a solution of um, six, seven. I'm going to fire. I'm going to get it to turn that way. So we maybe get a rear exposed so we can have a rearward shot. And as the torpedoes from Blackfish are loose, we'll give them a second. And then we'll fire from ours as well. Fire. Again, we'll do the same turn. We'll try and expose the stern to get a rearward shot at these ships before they can make it to the port. Okay, you can see the bubbles from the torpedoes coming in. I think she might be going fast enough to avoid these, actually. Maybe not. We shall see. A couple of hits. Three hits. Four hits. And two two duds, well that's not too bad, four torpedo hits on this cruiser uh, they've gone off at a janky angle so I'm not so confident with those but this looks like she's slowing down that is quite a fierce fire, four torpedoes and we've got waves licking over the stern of course she slowed down so those torpedoes are going to miss, however there's a second row of cruisers passing along, so we might get lucky. This one looks in huge trouble. Cruisers come past the torpedoes are going this way. I think they're probably going to um, turn away and get away from them, but yeah, look at them, they really are turning hard. I think they might get away with it. However, this one is looking crippled with this two submarines turning away we may be able to get some rearward shots into that one to finish her off if she looks like she may be able to repair so we'll look over here torpedoes over here there's a good chance that they'll just be able to um, outrun them I don't think there's anyone else there is there can't see anyone in the Merc so dark the weather is appalling This one, oh, this one looks in a bad way. Let's see if we can get a uh, a rearward shot. Some, if she needs it, I think the fly, fire is actually spreading slightly. Slow down. Oh, we got um, some more. These are with the destroyers going to say hello, aren't they? Yep. And yep. Okay. To KO. We haven't got a great solution. Uh, four torpedoes. Fire. Rear torpedo's gone. Right. Dive. Okay, here is that cruiser. Here come the torpedoes now. She's got no movement, so hopefully we get some good torpedoes. Another hit. Another hit. Another hit! That's got to be her gone. Look at that. Her bow is lifting. She's gone! Another heavy carrier sent to the bottom. Will that be enough to turn this battle group around? And confirmation, Drum and Blackfish made it scarce in the terrible weather. And we've sunk the Takeo heavy cruiser for 13,000 tonnes. Um, 
Will that be enough to turn around? I'm not so sure. We may get another hit on our port. Move time on a little bit. Oh, they do seem to... No, there we go. They did attack. Um, it's knocked down the airfield to a level 2. Okay. Can we get our U-boats to um, find them again? I seem to be able to see them at the moment. At 20 past 3, our task group with our destroyers and cruisers has uh, encountered some enemy opposition. It looks to be some aircraft. What have we got? Ooh, zeros! Okay, we need to actually get these in a better bit of a maybe a circle formation so we can get the actual anti aircraft fire to really um, target the uh, in one area rather than. Obviously, it's, it's nice to go like this when we're um, targeting uh, or looking to avoid submarines. You can obviously split and, and run and do that kind of thing. But um, yeah, I think case you're opening up. Right, case swing hard. Four. Three speed. Who are they going for? Shooting them down. Only a few surviving. Confirmation, five of the eight aircraft were shot down and no damage to any of our ships, which is good news. At 10.38, there's more aircraft coming in for our boys. These look like bombers. Indeed they are. Okay, we've got two groups of fighters coming in. Let's get case. Lead, lead destroyer. Pick up the pace. Let's start making evasive maneuvers. Looks like they're coming for the Minneapolis. Check how badly damaged are they? Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. We'll be able to get this repaired during the conflict, I think. Okay, managed to get the fire under control. Just um, under accelerated time. Just doing some of the repairs during the engagement. Let's just get this bridge sorted. About a minute to go, and uh, she is back in the fight with only minor damage. Perfect. And confirmation, all damage was actually uh, repaired from the Minneapolis, so that's good. Three aircraft lost, no damages on our side. As we come to 5pm on the 16th of September, our cruisers have almost made it to Rennell Island. Um, what we ha can do, of course, we can now purchase a battleship. We have the points th thanks to sinking that cruiser. So, we've got the North Carolina class battleship. Uh, we've got the South Dakota class battleship, and is that it? We think it is. So, North Carolina, uh, two in class. She's 35,000 tons, and she's got 28 knots. The South Carolina is slightly heavier and half a knot slower. There's four of them in class, though. Armament wise, main gun 16 inch, nine of them 
on the North Carolina. Caliber 16 inch, 36,855 yards. Not dual purpose. Reloading time 30 seconds. Um, secondary, this is all the same. Okay, so armament is exactly the same. North and South. Well, South Dakota and North Carolina. Anti aircraft. Very similar by looks of things. Oh, I didn't mean to. Hang on. I didn't mean to just purchase one. I meant to flick back and forth. Um, if we have a look at visibility for radar, there's a slight difference with the air radar. The North Carolina has slightly better air radar and slightly better surface radar. Um, sonar and acoustics are similar. Now, armor, South Dakota has a better belt armor, better deck armor, better turret armor. Okay, and then they've both got uh, Kingfisher Scouts. So they're very, they're very similar. Very similar. I, both are very good. Um, so I think, what do we got? South Dakota, we've got South Dakota, Indiana, Massachusetts, or Alabama. Or in the North Carolina, we've got North Carolina or Washington. Let's get the North Carolina. Let's cut her purchased. And that leaves us nine skill points, so let's give her an escort. What's a light cruiser? It's 14, okay. Um, we'll give her a destroyer then. Uh, so we'll get a Benham class. Uh, we'll get um, Rind or Rowan. We'll get Rowan. And that can be her escort. Cool. So we've got those now in fleet. Now these guys are going to. If I can select them. They are going to head up here. Uh, we did it now, so they've got. You know, if they can get a bit of leeway under the cover of darkness where only submarines could be an issue um, but yeah that's good what I might do is uh, as they come up I might get um, I might get task force 24 to head this way to um, kind of cover in front of her for a time being and then they can go and reload when they get back yeah Okay, so it's again more zeros coming in to um, strafe our ships, which just seems ludicrous. Really, you wouldn't do it. Well, I suppose unless these are the uh, the truly trained and uh, brave kamikaze. Let's see how our anti-aircraft fire compares to the Japanese. Another group coming in there, which guns are blazing. Going for the destroyers, which are softer targets, true. Okay, they are being shot down, which is good. Oh, I think one just hit our cruiser. The rest have been shot down. How are you doing damage wise? Just a bit of minor damage, yeah. The um, aircraft came down into her. Check out uh, the destroyer over here. Minor damage again, okay. Okay, we are now turning because there are more aircraft coming in. Looks like torpedo bombers are coming in. Low over the surface of the water. Can't see them as yet, but we've got them on the radar. Okay, here they come. Are they coming for us? These ones might well be. Right, let's get you heading over there. Venom, you go with them. Okay, here they come. Slower moving this time. One shot down. Right, Lang's in trouble. She's gonna get. She's not answering the helm, so she's gonna get a torpedo right down the nose. And North Carolina's also got a torpedo coming for her, which we're not gonna be able to avoid. I 
actually handles slightly better than the destroyer. Yes, yeah, she's dodged it. Meanwhile, Hughes is potentially at risk, and so is Selfridge. Confirmation 11 of the 16 aircraft were shot down, and the Lang was, is currently in heavy damage and heavy flooding. Okay, and as our task group makes it to Guadalcanal, put aircraft around there as well. How do you get a level 5 airbase? Bloody hell, how are they flooding all this in there? Give it another one. Do we have any more? No, we're right. Right. Head back to here to rearm and refuel. Got that down from a level 5 to a level 3 airbase and a level 2 port as well. Right. I'm going to keep flooding back and forth to keep hitting it. Hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. 14 minutes later, they are coming back. Where are they? Uh, you know they must be desperate when they're throwing all their zeros at our group. Kamikaze! Right, New Orleans, what's the damage? A little bit of minor damage to the uh, aircraft, spotter aircraft ramps and also the funnel. Uh, but no serious damage from the, uh, the Kamikaze. We'll just get these repaired and then we'll be on our way. We're nearing Guadalcanal now. I don't think they've got any more aircraft to throw at us at this point. And at 7.27 the group have made it back to Guadalcanal. It's got level 2 port, level 3 airfield. More bombardment please. Level 2 airfield, good. That'll stop the uh, repercussions coming back on our, sh our ships. Level one airfield, perfect. Come on, can we give him one more blast? Right, set sail back for new. Uh, sorry, the, not New Hebrides, for the uh, Renault Isles, and we've left that with one level, one port, and one airfield. Fantastic. Meanwhile, at quarter to nine, as our ships leave Guadalcanal behind us, this Kingfisher has spotted something. Don't see it in the early morning mist, but if we bring up, there's our group there. Lost bearing. Two six. There it is. We have some Japanese ships coming in the area. Let's go and check them out. Okay, there they are. A uh, couple of heavy cruisers, a couple of light cruisers, a couple of destroyers. Okay. Um, we fired most of our armament at the Guadalcanal bases itself, so we're going to continue to send the fleet back to Reynolds Island to uh, rearm. Maybe we can come back, or maybe we can send a couple of the U boats up here to give these guys a bit of a hard time. At 10.45 later that morning, we've got our groups of Avengers in the area. Two of them. So let's pick our target and attack. I think maybe a heavy cruiser and a light, cru uh, light cruiser would be good. Okay, Bombay doors open. Our aircraft are coming in. Alright, this is blue flight. Red flight is... Um, over here somewhere. Oh, the red flight's down there. There we are. So this blue flight is going to attack the light cruiser here. The Gara. They were identified to that. And we've got that heavy cruiser there, which we're going to go for.
aircraft coming down. Right, torpedoes coming in. It's like one hit. The others have sailed by. Look how clear the sea is. You can see the torpedoes. Two hits on the cruiser. And they're sailing on. Maybe to go hit the second light cruiser. I think torpedo missed this one. It did. How is this cruiser? Another light cruiser. Potentially in line to get two hits from the torpedoes coming in here. Look how beautifully clear this sea is. Oh, the long running torpedo strike. Oh, he might be going too quick, you know. Oh, he is. Slightly too quick. What about the destroyer behind? No, I think he might get away with it. Yep, he's just... Look at that. Oh, meanwhile though, that heavy cruiser, that is quite the fire. That is quite the fire they're going to have to firefight. It looks as though the fire has been put out. And they're under control. But with the B-17s coming in, I think we might be able to inflict a little bit more pain her way. And confirmation, heavy damage and heavy flooding to the Aboa. Oh, we lost them. Couldn't see them with the B-17s. So the B-17s are returning. We must have turned around and gone back to port. Right, let's get these guys rearmed. And you know what? Rinse and repeat. We are heading back in the afternoon, so we should be getting up there at night time, which should be good, so they can't launch aircraft. Still only a level one. We'll get the um, subs to continue up there then. And at 20 to 11 on the 22nd, the group is back to Guadalcanal. Let's give it some more bombardment. I want to level this place to the ground. No airfield on on the area which is fantastic I think we might leave that how's that one that look like it's got nothing either these are all level 2 level 2 nothing level 2 this is obviously the main base up here 5 and 5 yeah okay so with that I won't fire another sort of volley because these have still got shells available um, so I think we'll go on patrol around here and see what we can find. Uh, what we need to do, what do we got in terms of how do we can tell how many troops? It says zero troops on the island. Now, is that true or not? Could we bring this group up here, grab some troops from Renal Island and some supplies, and bring them up to um, the Butter Canal and land? Will we have enough? That's the thing. We'll rearm as we're here. Uh, manage cargo. So, um, get some troops on the destroyers. In type 3 we can get um, 200 troops on there. Nothing on the tankers, of course. Some supplies on that one. Uh, troops on that one. Nothing on that one. Um, some supplies on that destroyer. I think we're good, right. There's probably not enough there to take the island, but if we can make our way up there. And we'll bring this um, task group down here to escort them in. And while this um, U boat is sailing around, I'll um, get them to patrol through here make sure everything's okay there and at 7.19 the morning of the 24th we've got one of our Kingfisher spotter planes from North Carolina she's up and she spotted that's oh, our group oh but there's, there's other ships down here we've got some ships following our ships now these could be These could be, he says, 
our merchant shipping. And there they are. Two destroyers, two heavy cruisers, and a light cruiser. Is that it? That looks like it. Is that one of the ones we hit earlier? Right, let's um, stay up here and direct some fire. We may be able to engage with our shipping. Shells raining in. Right, return fire. We are returning fire, good. Sure, this doesn't get in the way of the battleship. Oh my goodness, look at those shells coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do not want you in the way, in the way. Well, we've got the Japanese destroyer, it's taken a couple of hits. So too is one of the cruisers, both cruisers are smoking. We've got all our cruisers opening up. I think that's the battleship shells. You can probably tell that one on the size of the uh, the water spray when the shells hit the ground, uh, hit, the, hit the sea. See, I don't know if that's a smoke. I think that's the smoke screen they've set up now. So if we target this heavy cruiser on the back, which I think we are doing, And in the midst of that, the heavy cruiser Mayoko has been sunk. That leaves the tone class. We've got a what have we got over here? We've got a light cruiser making a run for it. Another destroyer running away over there. Let's concentrate fire on this light cruiser and the heavy, other remaining heavy cruiser. Okay, from the mighty battleship, we can see the tone class cruiser there. I think. Although we are chasing down this light cruiser, let's target the tone. Let's see if we can finish her off. Got that solution now, and we'll get the Hughes to um, start to slow down as well. She's running cover with the, uh, the battleship to keep her covered. Uh, we've got. The heavy cruiser New Orleans coming down here. She's firing on the tone as well, so she's been keeping the fire up quite mercilessly. In fact, we switched the Yugumo. Ignore that, target the tone. Swing the guns around, that's what we're going to target here. Meanwhile, in case it's got a bit of smoke going on, oh, we've got the, uh, the crews working on it, that's fine. Firing on the Yugumu as well. Oh, the tone heavy cruiser is now under fire from the battleship and a couple of cruisers as well. Oh, it's not going to end well for her.
She's slowing down, her rate of fire has reduced, the speed has reduced, she is just now becoming a sitting target. Fire is breaking out astern. It won't be long before she's descending to the bottom. Meanwhile, the little destroyer is still going, pumping out a thick, acrid smoke screen. Best she can to try and protect the, uh, the heavy cruiser in the midst, but again, one of our ships is smoking. Meanwhile, the tone. I think she's she's had it. She is just an absolute target practice at the moment. How long can she stay afloat? The light cruiser has made a run. You can see it's smoking over there. We've got one of the cruisers chasing her. Is that light cruiser who's running away? She's taking a few damage. Oh, the. It was the Brooklyn who's keeping her honest. She's going straight for the coast. With another smoky mess over there. That must be one of the destroyers that have run over here as well. And finally, the tone gives up the ghost and she eventually succumbs to the damage. And she sinks. Right, let's cease fire. Oh my goodness, the destroyer has run aground. Crikey Moses, and I think the uh, the light cruiser is going to be chased into the bay and potentially will suffer the same fate. Okay, the Yugume is taking a bit of fire, you can see, she's got fires blazing. The heavier ship's firing at her now. It's only going to be a matter of time. She's trying to get into her own smoke screen. Behind, but I don't think that's going to work for too long. Okay, with the Yugumu sunk as well as the two heavy cruisers, we can now concentrate on There's the follow the smoke. There she is there. Rear gun still firing. Nagara building the solution up on the North Carolina now. Uh, a lot of the situation is we've run out of um, shells on many of the ships. So, um, yeah. Fortunately, we still have... 62 armor piercing, 112 high explosives. Um, we can probably go high explosives um, for this next one. Okay, we're turning North Carolina so she can bring her rear turret to bear as well.
And at the end of that action, um, oh, there we go. It was scuttled. We couldn't sink that ship because it had been beached on the uh, the shore. There, we couldn't actually get round to uh, sink it. We put everything into it, but uh, no joy. However, we have managed to sink the Yugumu destroyer for 2,065 tons, Moyoko heavy cruiser for 13,000 tons, Niagara light cruiser for 5,170 tons, Siratsiu um, destroyer scuttled for 1710 tons, and the heavy cruiser tone sunk for 11,230 tons. On our side, uh, minor damage here, there and everywhere. Uh, heavy damage for the Lanx, you've already had heavy damage. Minneapolis is okay, Brooklyn is fine, New Orleans is fine, North Carolina, minor damage, uh, but nothing to worry about. Rowan, minor damage, minor flooding. Benham, nothing. Hughes, minor damage, minor flooding. Selfridge, none, none. Case, none, none. Right, these guys are running out of ammo, so we're gonna send them back now to Reynolds Island to get some resupplies. That is 43 healthy points uh, coming our way. And as 11am rolls on by on the 24th of September 1942, we've got our task group heading back to Rennell Island to get some refueled at our newly boosted level 3 port there, it's looking fantastic. We have um, our task group 15 with our merchant ships escorted by the Dale and Dewey. They have got troops and supplies and they are going to do a uh, landing on this island of Guadalcanal trying to take the port. Uh, we do have 9,000 troops and 16,000 supplies here in the Rennell Island so once they drop those troops off they're going to come here load up on troops and drop some more troops off see if we can take Guadalcanal. We've got Task Force 24, the Bluefish and Cod submarines patrolling around Guadalcanal and Florida Islands, um, which is all good. And we've got, um, who have we got sitting outside Rinal Island? Drum and Blackfish keeping an eye on security of that port. And uh, we've got some new Hebrides we've got down here, our home base. Still, 100 engineering has come in, but still no fuel want to get the airfield boosted up at Rennell Island as quick as possible. But we do have 44 um, points to spend so um, we won't do that right now but we can potentially look to get maybe um, another heavy cruiser. Uh, how much are heavy cruisers again? 22. Yes yeah, so we could get a couple of um, heavy cruisers. So the Atlant... Oh uh, no, not Wichita. It's not very... very somebody was saying the, is it the Wichita? She's got um, incredible uh, anti-aircraft, that's why she's a little bit more expensive, so she might be worth a purchase. And they got the bolts mark, not available yet. So yeah, um, potentially a heavy cruiser, maybe a heavy cruiser like Cruiser and Destroyer, which can certainly come up here. Maybe some more supply ships, uh, we shall see, but certainly um, we are on our road to capturing Guadalcanal, I hope. Never done a troop deployment on an enemy port before. We shall see. Uh, obviously, these is, this is what I'm guessing is the control of the power. So this is their troops. It's suddenly currently reading zero troops, but I don't believe that for a second. Um, yeah, we'll have to send up, see how many we get in, and then come back get some more, a couple of thousand more troops dropped in on the site. We could also get this task group because these could all carry some. Uh, troops up to that Guadalcanal and see if we can raid there. But yeah, lots to do, lots to do and uh, we're finally getting there. So um, if we have a look at the, the tally, no losses for us today, but yes this one was there as well, wasn't it? The uh, Takao uh, heavy cruiser was also sunk first off in the dark watery seas by um, torpedoes forgot about that so yeah three heavy cruisers a light cruiser and two destroyers today not bad not bad all in all um, bearing in mind they still got some battleships we know they got battleships they're probably under repair we we'll maybe or do we save up for another battleship or do we get another heavy cruiser and light cruiser let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll go with uh, whatever's most popular thank you so much for joining us this week hope you enjoyed it take care i'll see you next time bye bye